Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm coming on today to share with you my latest journal that I have made. This will be available in my Etsy shop and will be linked down below. Um, if anybody is is interested. So I thought I would do something a bit different. This is a hardback journal and it's a corset spine. Um, I had never done one of these before and I followed Eva's tutorial who is bohemian crafting and i will link that down below so here is the entire corset spine i think it's absolutely gorgeous you it's you do the eyelets it's reinforced all the way down Um, i just i thought it was something really different i left all the tassels hanging on the bottom and there's lots of different charms flower charms wee bird charms leaves keys all sorts of wee bits and pieces so i just thought that was nice to leave that hanging um so yeah something different i just thought it was beautiful I, I just i don't know i fell in love with it i seen it, i thought right i'm going to try it so yeah hardback um board construction journal has the four corners on the front and the back the metal corners the journal itself is nine inches by just under five and a half it has a screen pom-pom trim it has lace and it also has fabric now um the cover is covered with edith holden book pages um i've done this little wooden bar just stamped it with a music note and aged it up metal butterfly metal leaves this is a wee collage that was on some packagings from deborah holdforth so i think the cover turned out lovely the spine again is edith holden and also has the pom-pom trim and things on it and the back is Edith Holden. All I have to do is add on my little maker's stamp seal and then that's it. So let's get into the book. Now as you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see here but there's lace and then fabric and then more lace and then this sort of broad long lace and then the pom-pom trim. I double layered the pom-pom trim so that it's on the inside as well just because I thought it was nice and it added more to the journal. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's the first page um this is the grandma's garden card and um there's actually the board then a layer of fabric and then the card because it binds it to the corset so it's really sturdy construction this book um i used Artie Maisie's vintage botanical kit throughout the book as well patchwork botanical sorry you can see it says vintage and then this book belongs to it as a freebie that Art Maze has on her website. So first page I made an Edith Holden pocket. It has some fabric on it and a little wooden bird embellishment. This beautiful tag. Again this is Hunky Dory um, Adorable Scorable and this is a freebie from Art Maze's website. Gorgeous um ephemera from etsy and i will link all the sellers um down below in the description box including taylor um who has a youtube channel here on youtube she is taylor made journals <clears throat> if you're not familiar with her please go over and check out her channel i'll link that down below she makes awesome amazing journals and she also sells beautiful beautiful um digital kits <clears throat> so I popped in this little frame because I thought it would be nice for a photograph or framing whatever you want. Some more um, vintage style imagery. And that's actually from Google, the public domain, that one. These are from Taylor. That's from Artie Maze and that beautiful the wee vintage. I had this gorgeous bird paper in my stash. That's my last sheet of that. I absolutely loved it. And I just did some stamping and... Um, washi tape and all my stenciling on my coffee dyed paper a doily in this little pocket I take off the paper clip and I've made my little tag paper clips and here you get I've made a little postcard just a wee journal and tag another one of these gorgeous tags from the patchwork botanicals and a postword, postword, postcard and a hunky dory little book page because I thought it matched in perfectly so all that goes in there and I've just held it on with one of my paper clips like that this is Andrea's paper it's beautiful lots and lots of journal and space in here more of this gorgeous Etsy kit 
I stamped and made this little page. Just more florals here. Take off just another one of my paper clips. And I've popped in this, oh, I love this gorgeous um, sheet from Hunky Dory and another one of Andrea's envelopes. So that one just goes on there, on there, and on, oops. Sorry, it's because I'm looking from above, I can't see. I'm going to have to stand to the side and have a look. There we go. This is a vintage book page. More of ephemera from the kit. Just a little bag with some lace on and this journaling card from the kit. It looks gorgeous. So lots of space in this book to keep all your wee keepsakes. More of that paper. More of the beautiful ephemera. This is a vintage, and a different vintage book. Edith Holden. Love these tags from Andrea's kit. So I've just popped them in a little glassine bag with some of this lovely broads and long glaze ribbon. Guest check. It's a middle. There's two signatures in this book. I meant to say, and there is 146 pages front and back. I just made this little tuck spot and put in another one of these beautiful tags. Another one, and they're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love using these little glassine bags in the journal as well. I just added on some more ribbon. This is a metal embellishment, I think it was Deborah that sent me this. Absolutely love it! So I popped that in, I thought the colours went nice. More Edith Holden, more crochet ribbon, another vintage book page, just all your botanicals, and all the book pages I've put in are botanical themed seed packets florals, another wee bag and in here you get the larger journaling card from the sheet from the kit look at these images guys, I think these are absolutely beautiful I'm addicted to making this, these kind of books just now, another one of the wee frames this is fabric another seed packet more fabric another side of that um, stamped paper on here I have popped on another one of my little paper clips this to do card because I thought it matched in and then in here another one of the beautiful tags and this gorgeous journal space from Hunky Dory I'm loving using these little books because Apart from card making and things, you know, I never knew what to really use them for, so I thought, yep, yeah, perfect for putting in these journals. Doily, part of Artemis collection. Taylor's. I love this image. And then on here, oh, wait till you see this. Love this. Okay, so I went to um, a second-hand shop and I actually bought a bunch of original um, music sheets and these are got I mean some of these are 1933 I think the one of the, this I think this one's 1945 but it's an original um, music sheet so I put that in there just as it is because I thought you could either gesso over it or you know use it the way you want but I thought it was too beautiful I just left it in like that this is from Artie Mays one of her beautiful vintage letters and a little tag, a wee floral tag because that matched in perfectly. There's a lot of ephemera, extra ephemera in this book that you can use to decorate, use to journal, use to fill your envelopes. Just, yeah, any way you want it. More of that imagery. Look at that coffee dye in it, that nice. So that's the end of signature one. As you can see, there's loads of goodies in there. Signature 2, I made another Edith Holden pocket and these are a wee couple of tags from Andrea. I thought they were really pretty. More of these seed packets, another vintage book page. Another vintage book and in here there is this wee tag from the Patchwork Botanicals kit. This note page from Andrea, I think it's lovely, it's for 
and then this hunky dory page because I think that's gorgeous and another one of the beautiful tags that matches the pocket that I made so that just goes in there pop that in there in there and in there and we've got another one of the pockets with the tags the tickets and it's got more Roger and Glee ribbon on it in here another one of my wee paper clips and this is beautiful this came this was another find from the book um, from the second hand shop it is 1955 and it's the encyclopedia of british birds <clears throat> and um, it was by ludwig koch i think and i just thought yep yeah, that's beautiful and you can journal on the back there so a lot of nice original proper vintage in this book Another one of the gorgeous tags in this little tag. So yeah, I thought adding in the actual proper vintage stuff just makes it really pretty. That goes in there. More Edith Holden, isn't that beautiful? I think this one is 1977. And here, another one of these letters. Some more fabric, more stamping and washi tape, more tailor's images. That's gorgeous, look at that. This isn't vintage, this was printed out, but I thought it looked lovely. <coughs> Middle of the first signature, and you've got another wee frame to put a photograph in. More of these seed packets, more of the crochet. More of those gorgeous images. In this bag, I have popped in this wee card, Life is Sweet. And another one of these beautiful little journaling cards. More Edith Holden. On here, we have this lovely day. And I've made another one of the wee paper clips. And on this side, I put in two of the beautiful tags, which I just think are, oh, I love these. I love journaling on these, just because you can write yourself wee notes or poems or quotes, or and then pop them in so you can go back to read them and inspire yourself at a later date. Another one of the bags, and you've got one of the tickets, and then in here you've got this piece of ephemera from the Patchwork Botanicals, and it's on a hunky dory, um, adorable score ball. Then you have. Another paper clip, and here is this beautiful hunky dory, and another one of the. I think this is from the other kit that I bought from Andrea. This is the Bohemian kit, I think, but I thought it just it went really lovely in here. So that goes there, and obviously, I mean, you can cut these wee hunky dory cards up if you want, and the papers, and use them to decorate your book sorry i can't see again i'm trying to there we go more vintage book paper the other side that stamp more imagery more stamping another book page and here i just made a wee tuck the two of these wee tags that deborah sent me they're lovely the wee um hobby craft tags beautiful frame look at that bird it's more butterflies and that is your back page really hard and tough so yeah i think it's absolutely beautiful i'm really chuffed how it turned out covering it i needed holding and with the corset corset um spine so yeah talk to me in the comments guys let me know what you think and um yeah check out my etsy store if you are interested in this or i've got other journals and cards and things listed on there as well and i'll see you all soon bye, -bye.